Well, I have one more word I want to share with you before I call it a day, and that is the place that women and men have in the kingdom, especially in light of the stand that Satan has against women and their seed. And this comes from the afterword in my book, and I'm just going to read it to you. And um, the title of this is The Dragon's Mission and Our Defense. We must keep remembering from these past events and from the knowledge we have of Satan's wrath against women that he is not tempting us to sin and disobedience. He is trying to kill us. Dead women cannot bear children. If we die or kill our unborn or young children, we play into Satan's hands and his plan. When women become addicted to drugs and or alcohol during pregnancy, they pass the same onto the children in their wombs. So there is more than one way to destroy a baby besides abortion. A mother's womb is not the safest place, place for a baby besides, excuse me, let me read that over. A mother's womb is not the safest place for a baby anymore. Satan is not playing games, and our ignorance or neglect of him is deadly. Another of the major lessons we can learn from the Revelation 12 narrative is what women are up against and what we need most from our husbands and the fathers of our children. We are the major targets. God has given the man the responsibility for hiding us and guarding us spiritually from the attacks of the enemy. Literally, men are to be our dragon slayers. It has nothing whatsoever to do with who's the boss or who makes the final decisions or who can or cannot teach. It has everything to do with a man's need for spiritual wisdom and prowess in protecting women from the wrath and seduction of Satan. What women would not want to submit herself to a man who can do all of that? Sometimes the problem with women today is that we want our own armor and do our own warfare. We want to be independent. We fought for it, and by golly, we want it. While God has given all believers power over all the works of the enemy, there is an order to the plan of God. And that order is to have the men cover the women until the dragon is put under our feet. To be independent, self-willed, or hard-headed is to be out of order. To be out of order is to be more vulnerable. If Adam had been covering Eve sufficiently, the bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh, she might not have surrendered to the serpent's wiles. Most Christian men want to have their wives submit to them. However, if they knew exactly what that meant, they would think twice before pushing the submission issue. Submission only works as a covenant. When we submit and commit to each other, the covenant holds together. Anything else opens the door for the enemy, even the most spiritual of the men and women do not understand the ramifications. Remember Paul's words about a man and a woman's body belonging to the other. One should not deny the other except for prayer and fasting, lest Satan tempt them for their inconsistency. He speaks of the covenant between husband and wife as protection against Satan. The Church of Jesus Christ needs to get wise to what the submission business is all about and see that God is not browbeating women with submission, but calling men into the account for our spiritual welfare and warfare. Yes, Jesus is our ultimate covering, but God has given our fathers and husbands dominion over the dragon on our behalf. 
Where do those myths about knights slaying dragons and saving their damsels in distress come from, if not from Revelation 12? Hollywood is smarter than most churches in depicting such things. This time we are at war with a foe who knows his time is shorter and shorter and that the coming again of that man-child is imminent. And so I conclude this now four-part series to why the cross and the resurrection and the whole plan of God. And I hope you've learned something from this. I, I appreciate your visiting and I hope that you will be able to watch all of these videos um, consecutively. And I really welcome your questions and your comments, which you can write at the bottom or you can email me at delbaloo33 at hotmail.com. Thank you for visiting and have a wonderful day. And again, happy Resurrection Day. Amen.